Today, we recreate Ewok's camera border. Hey guys, what's up? It's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So today we're getting back into the templates and tutorials. We're going to be recreating Phase Ewok's camera border. I've had a couple people down in the YouTube comments ask for this, and I had a couple people come into my stream, twitch.tv forward slash BravityM, if you want to check me out on stream. I had a couple people come in and request that I do Phase Ewok's camera border. I went and checked out the border, and I really liked it, so I decided to recreate it inside of After Effects, and we're going to be looking at that today, and you guys can download it down below in the description but first we are about to hit 1000 subscribers at the time of recording this i believe we have 990 subscribers we're 10 away and to celebrate that we are going to be doing a couple giveaways we're going to be doing one now leading up to the 1000 subscriber mark and then once we hit 1000 subscribers we're going to be doing a larger giveaway so make sure you're following me over on twitter because i'm going to be doing the giveaway on twitter and then also in the comments of these youtube videos so stay tuned to the end of the video to see how to enter the first giveaway but now without further ado let's jump into after effects and take a look at the camera border all right guys so here we are inside of after effects and this is what it's going to look like this is ewok's camera border here and you'll see if i play through it she is part of phase so she has a camera border that works for her branding and then also phases branding so you see i've got the red colors for phase and we've got our fake logo here let's just say this is our phase logo and so she has it like this and she has these highlights that come around the side and go behind these like black border with holes and then once it gets to the bottom it flashes blue like this and the blue flashes by because blue is her color. And then once the blue flashes by, the border then changes to blue and we rotate to a new logo Her here. Her logo kind of glitches out, but I thought it'd look better if it was just a bit of a rotation, like spinny thing there. So you can have two logos if you guys are part of a team. Um, you guys can have your logo and then your team's logo. So it can flash your team's color just like that. And then it can spin into the team's logo. And then we have the highlights coming around again with now the second color with the second logo up here. And then once the highlights get to the bottom, we're going to change back. We're going to flash to the old color, flash back to the first color, just like that. And then it's going to spin to the first logo. And then we're going to loop back around. So you'll see the in and out points are set for a perfect loop. And that is what Ewok's camera border looks like. So to get into editing it, the first thing you're probably going to do is change your logo. So you'll see we've got two tabs here, two compositions, your logo one here and your logo two here. They're just two separate logos here. If you have a team logo or if you have two logos and you just want to use both of your logos, you can put one here so you can hide this one and delete it or do whatever you want and then put your logo in, go to this one, hide it or delete it, do whatever you want, put your other logo in there and then just make sure they're about this size, fit inside of this box. And then when you go back to the final render comp, you'll see that they are updated. Next, what you're gonna do is you wanna change your colors. So you'll see we have an awesome color control tab and this is what the color control tab looks like. It's a little, little bit cooler than my normal template. So we've got the dark gray, we've got the light blue and we've got the red, so if we go back here you'll see the dark gray is this border that goes around so you can change that and then you've got the red inside and then you got the blue inside so if you go to color control and you click on this color control layer down here go up to effects controls you'll see we've got droppers for each of the colors so if you change this if you want your thing to be a bit more of a lighter gray which by the way i really don't recommend i think it looks a lot better when your border is darker but let's say you want the gray a little bit lighter and then your channel colors are like a green and a purple so just like that when we go back to the final render you'll see we've got the light border now we've got the green and the uh the, the highlight goes around and then you'll see when the highlight finishes up it flashes purple and then it switches over to purple so i think that's really cool but as you can see it looks a little strange with the light gray if we go back here and if i change the color controls back to a darker gray i think the dark gray looks much better yeah look at that purple it really causes the purple to pop really probably calls yeah it causes the green to pop look at that it just looks so much better with a darker gray so i highly recommend leaving that dark and not changing that color too much but we're gonna go ahead and change the colors back anyway to the ewok colors here there we go so we got the blue and we've got the red and that is pretty much it so you just want to change your logo and you just want to put in the colors but if you do not want to have your logo as a part 
of the border you can also do that right here inside the final render comp you see we've got this tab or this uh, layer here called logos you can just hide that or delete it and you'll see now you've just got the border by itself with no logos perfectly looping with the highlights going around so if you don't want your logos in there you don't have to have them and that is uh, everything that you can do with this template so once you have everything changed your colors changed your logos taken away or added in you've got the in and out points set for you you want to make sure you're in the final render tab here you just want to go up to composition and add to render queue so once you add it to the the render queue you want to go over here where it says output module and lossless in blue you want to click where it says lossless change the format from avi to quicktime i prefer having it at quicktime and then export it as rgb plus alpha right there the rgb plus alpha is super super critical because it makes sure that you have that alpha background the the transparent background behind your camera border so you can put it over your stream so quicktime rgb plus rgb plus alpha hit OK, and then where it says output to final render here in blue, that's where you click to save it wherever you want, name it whatever you want, and then you are done. You can also export it as a WebM if you like doing that with your graphics. I know a lot of streamers do that. I don't have much experience with WebM, but you can look it up online, and if you want to export it with that, you can as well, but this is how you do it with QuickTime and RGB plus alpha, but then you just want to hit render and you are done. And that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video on Ewok's camera border. I know that I was impressed when I jumped into her stream when people told me to check it out. I really liked what it looked like, hence the reason I decided to recreate it inside of After Effects and provide it to you guys with the template download in the description. But before we jump out of here guys, I just wanna tell you about the giveaway we're gonna be doing. So like I said, we're gonna be doing two giveaways, one right now and today, and then one when we actually hit a thousand subscribers, we're gonna be doing a larger giveaway. But for today's giveaway, we are going to be doing 2,800 V-Bucks, $25 worth of V-Bucks. If you guys want some new V-Bucks for the new season that's about to come out to buy the Battle Pass for season two, definitely enter into this giveaway and there's two ways to enter and if you enter in both of those ways you will have two entries so the first way to enter is just comment down below on this youtube video that's all you need to do make sure you're subscribed to the channel because i might be contacting you through youtube but comment down on the video to enter it one time and then if you want to enter it second time to double your chances head on over to twitter make sure you're following me on twitter because i might reach out to you through twitter as well and you just want to like the tweet retweet the tweet and then respond or reply to the tweet where i talk about the giveaway so if you comment down below on this video and subscribe and head on over to my twitter like retweet respond and follow me on twitter you'll be entered in to win the giveaway twice doubling your chances to win 2800 v bucks so i hope you guys enjoyed the video good luck on the giveaway and i'll see you in the next video when we'll probably be announcing yet another giveaway of something a little bit bigger once we hit a thousand subscribers peace out